the wolf is a formidable and voracious predator. Even a single gray bandit poses a great threat to humans in the forest, although in most cases lone and healthy wolves shun humans. However, it's not only us that they're afraid of, but who else do they try not to get involved with? Now you'll find out. In this episode, I'll show you the animals that even wolves are afraid of. Let's go. Bear First of all, wolves are afraid of bear. It's not surprising. In general, almost all animals are afraid of bears. Only powerful tigers can oppose them with some. But wolves are far from being as powerful and big as tigers. Even the largest wolves, the gray ones, seldom weigh more than 220 pounds, while a bear's normal weight is 660 to 880 pounds. And it's not the limit. Particularly large brown bears can weigh 1,320 to 1,540 pounds, and the weight of the polar bear can reach 1,760 pounds. There's nothing a wolf can do to such a huge mass. You shouldn't forget the fact that bears are first-class predators which, despite their obesity, run very fast, can climb trees, and excellently wield their heavy paws with sharp claws. One precise blow with such a paw, and the wolf will be knocked out or die immediately. The only option for wolves is to attack a bear in a large pack. But even in this case, success is not guaranteed. Bears are able to defend themselves from several opponents at once, so even a pack of ten wolves won't do anything to a bear. It makes no sense for wolves to hunt these furry giants, so they try not to mess with them. Wolfhound Wolves are also afraid of their relatives, wolfhounds. Many people mistakenly believe that the wolfhound is a separate breed of dog, which was bred specifically to fight wolves. In fact, several breeds of dogs are considered to be wolfhounds at once. For example, the Kangal or Anatolian Shepherd Dogs. These Turkish sheep dogs fearlessly fight wolves. See for yourself how four Kangal Shepherd Dogs attacked a wolf. They knocked the predator down and began to hold it. The wolf didn't stand a chance against four wolfhounds. But here the situation is different. The wolves are hunting the Kangal Shepherd Dog. They corner it and it tries to break free and defend itself so it doesn't get its neck bitten. At one point, it seems that the wolves have finally overpowered the Turkish dog, but suddenly two more Kangal Shepherd dogs appear. They fight off their friend and chase the wolves away. Frightened, they immediately run away. Another wolfhound is the Alibi, also known as the Central Asian Shepherd dog. This shepherd dog is not much inferior to wolves in size. In addition, it's even larger than some wolves. Therefore, the Alibi can neutralize the wolf easily as it happened in this case in the Caucasus Mountains, where a hungry wolf got close to the animals. The big dog grabbed the predator and held it by the backbone until the owner came up. The other dogs were cheering their strong congener up at this time. The Caucasian Shepherd Dog is another wolfhound. This is one of the largest dog breeds in the world, the weight of which can reach 240 pounds. Outwardly, this huge dog looks more like a hybrid of a bear and a wolf than a dog. Since ancient times, the Caucasian Shepherd Dogs have been guarding sheep from pesky wolves, so they learn how to fight them well. As in this case, where wolves attacked sheep and the Caucasian giant dispersed them and dealt with one of the predators. Wolves should fear not only terrestrial creatures, but also sky predators. Golden eagles are especially dangerous for them. These eagles are the largest on the planet. The wingspan of the golden eagle reaches almost 8.2 feet. Its weight often exceeds 11 pounds, and its body length is almost 3.2 feet. Of course, in terms of weight, the golden eagle is inferior to wolves, but it makes up for it with its unreal power. A golden eagle swiftly dives at a wolf, strikes it with its sharp claws, sometimes working with its beak, and finishes the wolf on the ground. A disoriented wild dog hardly has time to understand anything. Sometimes golden eagles act in a more epic way. They lift the still living wolf higher and then drop it down. The wolf eventually crashes and the golden eagle proceeds to the meal. In the same way, golden eagles often deal with other canid creatures, foxes, as well as various cloven hoofed animals. But in general, such epic hunting forays are rather rare. Basically, golden eagles choose easier and smaller prey, such as hares, rodents, small lambs, ungulate babies. Sometimes these birds even eat carrion. 
By the way, the inhabitants of Central Asia have used golden eagles as a security system against wolves. They tame these eagles and use them as flying hounds to hunt wolves to clear the area of dangerous land predators. Wolverine Next, we have one of the planet's most reckless animals. The wolverine is a rather small creature. It weighs from 22 to 66 pounds, does not exceed 3.2 feet in length, and looks peaceful enough. But this is when the wolverine is quiet. As soon as the beast becomes enraged, it changes visually. At this point, anyone can get it, including wolves. Wolverines are not afraid of wolves at all and regularly attack them. The wolverine can attack even two wolves at once. However, in this case, the victory will be on the side of the dogs. On the other hand, in a one-on-one -on -one fight, the wolverine often wins. Sometimes it doesn't even need to fight. Wolves are so scared of this crazy predator that they'll flee just to get away from wolverine's teeth and claws. If the wolf doesn't run away, the wolverine can finish it off. There were cases where the wolverine exhausted the wolf to such an extent that it fell down without strength and the wolverine ate the lone wolf. The same, by the way, applies to many other large animals, including even moose. Not without reason, the Latin name of wolverine translates as glutton. It seems that this predator doesn't care what will be for lunch. Tiger The tiger is the largest member of the cat family and one of the largest terrestrial predators. In terms of size, it's second only to the brown bear, polar bear, and the saltwater crocodile. Of course, the wolf is afraid of such a serious and large opponent. Wolves don't just avoid these striped cats, they try to get away from them at the first opportunity. A 550-pound tiger will not miss an opportunity to feast on wolf meat, especially when the tiger is hungry. Any adult tiger is much fiercer, faster, and more agile than wolves. These cats fear neither lone wolves nor whole packs of the forest hunters. By the way, sometimes tigers do not hunt wolves for food. Sometimes they kill wolves in order to eliminate competitors in their habitat. Other dangerous creatures such as leopards or pythons can also get it in this regard. Only a bear or a saltwater crocodile can do something against a tiger. They're no weaker than the striped hunter. Big cats do not give rest to wolves on the other side of the ocean as well. While in Asia, tigers deal with wolves, in America, cougars do it. Of course, cougars are much smaller than tigers. They grow up to 5 feet in length and weigh about 220 pounds. At the same time, cougars are usually larger than all wolves in their range. Most often, cougars hunt local deer, moose, livestock, and a variety of small animals. But if there's any chance, the cougar will not refuse to eat a caught lone wolf. However, unlike its overseas striped cousin, the cougar cannot compete with a pack of wolves. Its size and strength are not so significant. Therefore, in most cases, American cats attack young wolves and do it during the mating season. Lynx Here goes one more representative of the cat family. Lynxes are much smaller than cougars and even more so tigers. They weigh about 44 pounds. In terms of weight and length, the lynx is similar to a large dog, which it partly resembles with its shortened body and long paws. However, even such size is enough to hold wolves at bay. The lynx is not a natural enemy of the wolf. This cat with tassels on its ears never attacks wolves. However, sometimes young lone wolves, defending their territory or experiencing hunger, attack lynxes they encounter. In most cases, nothing good for wolves ends up in a scuffle with an agile and dodgy cat. More often, it's the lynx that emerges victorious from the deadly battle. And often, the lynx doesn't even receive damage in such battles. Boar Don't think that a boar is just a harmless wild pig. It's quite the opposite. Huge and very sharp fangs, a mass of about 220 pounds, and a perpetually bad mood are the perfect combination for eliminating even very dangerous animals, including wolves. An adult boar has a high chance of not just defeating but killing a lone wolf. For this reason, a wolf is unlikely to mess with an adult boar. On the other hand, wolves will have an advantage in a pack. Three or four wolves are enough to finish off and eat even a fierce wild boar. However, fighting off the wolves, the boar is likely to cause significant damage to one of them. The boar may even take one of the offenders with it to the other world. Wild Yak And finally, let's look at this powerful inhabitant of Tibet. 
The wild yak is a large, cloven-hoofed animal that's difficult to confuse with any other. It has a long torso, a hefty mass that can reach up to a ton. The wild yak is incredibly ferocious. Adult wild yaks are very strong and therefore scare off wolves with their mere appearance. Wolves are afraid of these animals and prefer never to get involved with them. Wolves dare to attack them only in exceptional cases, as a rule, in large packs and in deep snow. And even so, it doesn't always go well. Even running away from its pursuers, a wild yak can hit one of them with its hoof. That's all, guys. What animal do you consider to be the most dangerous opponent for the wolf? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you later.